Hello traders and welcome back to the market crux. Today's video is dedicated for how you should be trading bank nifty tomorrow. I'll be providing some basic technical analysis aspects which you should be following and this kind of exercise a intraday trader must do every day. Uh, the beautiful part is that you can do this analysis while the market is closed. So you can do this analysis anytime in the evening or before 9 a.m. when the market is about to start. You will have some important data points in mind and uh, you will have some levels to follow and basis on that you can take your independent trades. Okay, so some basic rules and I'm hoping to have this series continued so if you haven't subscribed the channel please do subscribe so that all my future videos you will get notifications for those just click on the notification button and subscribe it so that uh, you will not be missing any future videos okay so let's quickly get started uh, with the higher time frame analysis of bank nifty and if you see uh, bank nifty over here actually had a big consolidation in this range and we are actually back into this range uh, from where the bank bank nifty has last time broken out retested and continued upwards on the daily time frame so if you see last four candles over here are actually in this consolidation zone and it is a good sign that there may be a possible reversal from this zone at the same time if this zone is getting broken on the below then there will be a, another good free fall in bank nifty so we are not bothered about this as of now till now couple of good bullish candles and one indecisive doji candle on the daily time frame so uh, i am not making any conclusion on this as of now the only reference point from here is that we can consider uh, 40 3400 as our base support on a higher time frame over here okay so 43,400 let's make it a little precise and this line can continue remaining here for a longer period till the time this zone is making sense and it is being respected we will keep this horizontal support line on its place as is all right so 43,400 is an important level for me on the upper side if you see i don't want to put any horizontal uh, resistance zone very well we can do that but that is not very significant on daily time frame as of now we will find it on the lower time frames so hold on a frame hold on for a minute and we will continue from there but when we see a little bit zoomed in chart you will find a very steep trend line coming over here and as of now if you see market is still trading below this trend line so this will be our resistance trend line and this we will mark for future days up till the time market is within this particular range either it has to break it down or it has to move up and that is for a swing and positional traders reference point how we should be treating ourselves for intraday trading so let's move on a shorter time frame and those reference points which we have mentioned will be making more sense now actually so on 15 minute time frame if you see last three days consecutive consolidation is happening in a broad range over here in bank nifty and it is very frustrating market for people who are actually trading trends because there is no established trend and you will find the signals that trend is getting started you might enter into the trade and then suddenly you will see that there is a reversal basically so this is a typical zigzag or a sideways pattern over here and uh, very difficult to, to trade for trend followers actually but uh, let's make a little more uh, clarity onto this chart so if you see this up uh, this is the upper side trend line once again on 15 minute time frame which we can very well follow right now couple of times it has tested in i can extend it in uh, past as well so if you extend it up till this po price point you will find that okay there are more data points which are connecting to this trend line and it has some significance over here okay on the lower side once again we will be putting a horizontal support zone so last three days this is the area where a good enough support has been seen all right over here 
and below this if market closes with a 15 minute candle then there will be a clear downtrend basically or you can consider it as an start of a downtrend on 15 minute time frame once again a reference point for swing traders basically intraday trading we will be actually moving on a little more shorter time frame and now i am going to mark three key decision points for myself first is the day low of previous trading day so previous trading day was friday and day low of this needs to be marked as a key decision point so this is my key decision point over here 43670 odd level day high will also be a key decision point so this this was the day high over here 43,956 is the day high and if I try to extend it in past and make it little more relevant if you see over here I will move it up till this price point and if you see there were several attempts of actually breaking above then market brought uh, break break it above and then could not sustain until the, now it is being treated as a resistance and same goes for this horizontal support line of day low on friday once again there are like 15 minute can five minute uh, three four five candles over here and then this candle also actually take on support from this area so these are the key reference points on which we should be taking trades now what to do if uh, Monday morning uh, market opens and uh, what, what kind of behavior it shows uh, most likely looking at the data as of now I see that uh, it is basically a, uh, again going to be a kind of mit bit muted opening a slightly gap up or gap down but then there may be a reversal possible especially if you see a gap up opening there can be a good reversal uh, possibility from there on actually so market if opening uh, in this area over somewhere over here and if you see selling coming then uh, there can be a good opportunity to go short however if market remains within this area itself and then breaks there will be good opportunity on the long side as well so that will be like let this breakout happen retest and continue you can take a screenshot of this and mark it as a reference point basically always trade 1 is to 2 1 is to 3 risk to reward ratio as an intraday trader scalping is a different thing i do scalping regular day in day out and that's a different game altogether so we mostly work with 1 is to 1 1 is to 1 and half risk to reward ratio that's a different thing but over here this is one possibility on the downside you can have something like a breakdown like this and then a retest of this area over here 43,740 and then you will see a drop of 43,670 odd levels basically so this can be one more reference point over here uh, this is very important area and if bank nifty breaks below this we might see further fall over here uh, the overall bias looking at the data let's just quickly look into that as well so uh, let me just quickly go into the option chain and if you see over here option chain on nse uh, 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 on, on bank nifty is basically right now indicating a uh, slight bearishness continuous call writing on all the strikes including itms is happening this is a good sign that bears are active in the market right now at the same time if you see up till 43500 level is um, put buying is happening basically so again here bears are active up till this strike uh, in the deep otms there are put writings happening and that's obvious expected because on the daily time frame if you see over here we have seen uh, 43400 odd level as an strong strong support zone so 43400 and below strikes actually right now bulls are uh, selling these and people who are actually working with the hedges are selling these strikes on the put side absolutely fine up till this point 43400 uh, market if going downwards will be good enough opportunity for bears basically to take short side entries so these are the uh, key thoughts key things which we need to maintain while trading bank nifty on uh, monday as i mentioned gap up gap down uh, gap down can continue pretty well gap up uh, is there is a high potential that if there is a gap up happening it will be actually sold off because we have seen from past many many days that all the rises are being sold off basically whenever bank nifty is trying to go up there is a selling coming from top so be careful in a gap up situation don't just jump looking at the trend reversal though we may have this trend line broken we have another one on the upper side and which is on the daily time frame and that will be acting as a strong strong resistance basically so no big potential on the upper side until and unless bank 
bank nifty breaks these two trend lines and sustain for a day closing at that time we will think of trend reversal towards upside otherwise as of now looks to be a bearish market and let's continue and align with the bearish moves basically there you will be making more money if you like this video please share and subscribe the channel uh, for all such future videos please also follow so that you can uh, you don't miss anything I, there is a telegram channel i'll be providing link in the description you should definitely join there uh, i will be providing a lot of uh, live market updates as well there also need one suggestion from all of you uh, would you like to continue me working and making uh, videos in english language or do you prefer to have hindi language that is something we will be deciding if you a majority of my crowd prefers uh, i making videos in hindi i will be making those in hindi in future as well so all right uh, till next video thank you for watching and have a nice time bye bye